Good afternoon, North Middle School students and families. It's Dr. Kozine and Ms. Gunning, Ms. Anderson, and we wanted to take this opportunity to welcome you back to North Middle School, as well as review some of the new protocols and expectations. We are excited that we will be reopening this week. The physical component of North Middle School has been shut down for, four, for more than five months. So there has been a lot to do to get back on track, and you, our students and families, there's going to be a transition for you as well, as we go back to our new model of in-school, hybrid, and full remote learning. For the time being, it will not be business as usual. We'll have to work together to adjust to our new normal, to gain traction so that we may move forward with the essential work of teaching and learning. But none of that happens unless we can maintain the safety of all of our members, our students and the amazing staff of North Middle. So that's where I'll begin, safety. We'll be focusing on the three W's, wear, wash, and watch. Wear your mask, wash your hands, and watch the distance. Masks will be required to be worn at North Middle School. For our bus riders, that means you're wearing them at the bus stop and on the bus, and it must cover both your nose and your mouth. So make sure you have an approved mask. Bandanas, gaiters, and masks with valves are not effective in keeping you and other members of our community safe. So, in addition, make sure that you have a mask that you are used to. That's right, practice. Practice wearing your mask, and keep an extra one in your string bag or backpack. When students arrive at North Middle School, they will have their temperatures checked. We are asking parents to help us out even before that happens, to take their temperature at home as well. If a child has a temperature of 100 degrees or higher, he or she should stay home. We'll be using this same threshold when students arrive to North Middle School. If a student is found to have a temperature, we will isolate him or her until a parent or guardian can pick their child up. Students may begin to arrive at North Middle School after 735. Staging areas will be set up in the cafeteria, auditorium, and gymnasium, where those students must wait until they are dismissed to report to homeroom. We also want to make sure that you are keeping your hands clean. To do so, we have installed hand sanitizer dispensers throughout the building. As for watching your distance, I'll turn it over to Ms. Gunning to provide more specifics. Thank you, Dr. Kozine. I'm going to break down some of the specifics, and one thing I'm going to focus on right now is social distancing. At North Middle School this year, we will have one-way hallways and one way up or down stairways where possible. We will also be asking all staff and students to stay six feet apart. This will include waiting dots or waiting stations spread out in the building on either side of the hallway. We are also looking to stagger dismissal from classes to limit the number of students in the hallway as well. I want to talk about some new procedures we have at North Middle School. First, students will not be having lockers. Students may use a string backpack or a small regular backpack to carry around their belongings. This prevents student loitering near each other in the hallways. Another new procedure at North Middle School is that there will be no drop-off table. If a child forgets his or her iPad or lunch, we will deal with this as a building and we will take care of our students. This cuts down significantly on building traffic and exposure. Cell phones. Students can keep their personal cell phones turned off in their backpacks. They don't have lockers now, so they must keep them in their backpacks. I want to talk about lunch now. In the cafeteria, our lunch tables have been replaced with individual student desks. These desks have been spaced six feet apart. In addition, students will each receive an ID card with a lanyard to order food. There will be no exchange of paper or coin money. And the lunches will be contactless lunches, meaning they will be pre-packaged and prepared for our students. And again at lunch, recess will be strongly encouraged to get our students outside if the weather cooperates. Still socially distancing, of course. Right now, there will be no indoor recess. Instead, students can stay in the cafeteria at their individual desks, reading, chatting, studying, playing on their iPads. And now I want to speak about end of the day dismissal. We are going to stagger the rotation of dismissal. Bus platform students will be called over the PA by bus. There will be no massive loitering on the bus platform and the auditorium will be used as a waiting station or a staging area. During all of this dismissal for the buses, students must wear masks, whether they're waiting for their bus or they're on their bus until they get home. 
Students who exit the building from Polo Road and are picked up by parents or guardians, the same traffic laws must still be followed. Students will be dismissed over the PA system and report directly to Polo Road. While waiting on Polo Road, students must wear masks and socially distance until they are in their parents' cars. We've got this, North Middle School, and now I want to turn this over to Mrs. Anderson. Thank you, Ms. Gunning and Dr. Kozine. North Middle School families, I am so happy that we're going to be seeing your children later on this week. At this time, you should have received a calendar which indicates which instructional day it is, as well as which hybrid group will be attending school live and in person, and which hybrid groups will be attending class virtually. On this Tuesday, the first day of school, it is an instructional day A. On this instructional day A, our hybrid A group students will be reporting to North Middle School. Our hybrid B students will be expected at home to log on to their different Zoom classes throughout the day. Students who are hybrid B will show up to their virtual classrooms, periods one through nine, including homeroom, for attendance. Once there, the teachers will make a decision as to whether the students will remain for a live streamed lesson to complete synchronous learning or they may be sent off to do asynchronous learning. This will be dependent upon the teacher and what the teacher plans for that class period. On Wednesday, it will also be a day A, and that is when the hybrid B students will come to class and the hybrid A and remote learners will be home for virtual lessons. The same rules will apply. Students are to show up to their periods for attendance, they will remain there for either a synchronous lesson or an asynchronous lesson, depending upon what the classroom teacher decides. I know that this may be confusing to begin, so you can refer to the calendar, which will be posted on the website every month. And the whole month of September is posted there for you to review. It's very important for you to remember that when you are home as a remote learner or a hybrid cohort, that when you show up to your classroom, that you have your video on. We're not going to have avatars or other pictures up. Students must have their video on and be prepared to participate in the class period following the teacher's directions. Thank you, Ms. Anderson and Ms. Gunning. We know that we've introduced a lot here today, and we're sure that there will be many more questions along the way. But know that we can't wait to have you back at North Middle School so that we may once again engage in teaching and learning in our shared place. Keep in mind that we also need a shared purpose, a purpose, a shared purpose of our safety and our well-being, and we need positivity from all members of our community. The safety of you will remain our number one priority, and that will mean that we all must work together to have a social contract, because ultimately what one of us does impacts upon the rest of our learning community. To steal a tagline from Ms. Gunning, we've got this. Enjoy your last few days of summer, and we will see you back at North Middle School soon, in person and remotely. But we will be together and work together to move toward our new normal. Be well and be safe. North side, strong side. Yeah.